Hey everyone, for Shree Star here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the new DeepSeek intelligent app that's similar to ChatGPT that is really trending right now. So let's get started. So on any device, whether you have an iPhone or Android phone, you're going to want to go to your App Store or the Play Store and just simply search up DeepSeek in all in one word. So if you search up DeepSeek, it's going to be one of the top apps that are showing right now in number one in productivity. And in order to install it, you might see a get option here or the cloud. So just simply tap on that get and it will start installing. As you can see here, it's been installed right now. And once it's installed, you're going to want to go ahead and let's go ahead and open it up. And once you open it up, you're going to see something like this where you have to accept uh, the agreement. Just hit agree. And then you can go ahead and sign up for it. A couple ways to sign up. Of course, you can use your Google account or your Apple account or simply click on sign up here to use an email address uh, password and then a code for your uh, phone that you can also, or code for your email that you can also go ahead and send. So you have that option as well. So those are the couple ways to sign up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's go back to the login. I'm just gonna use the, here the Apple info here. So I guess agree. And then you can just hide your email or use the name on the account if you just wanna use the Apple login to make things simpler. So it's going to enter my password and you can do it with Google account as well. So let's go ahead and create an account here. So let's wait here for it to create the account for us. All right. And then we're logged in. Simple as that. Easy to use. Very similar interface to chat GPT app if you use it. You can also do this on the desktop as well. So as you can see here, right now we have this message here, which is where you're gonna type in your prompt. And then if you click on these three lines, it's gonna show you chat history. Of course, I don't have one because I just created an account. And then you can also click on that plus icon, as you can see here, if you wanna create a new chat here. And then here is where you can interact with this. So you can ask questions like, what's the difference between this app and chat uh, GPT. Let's go ahead and ask it that question, see what kind of answer we can get here right away. Uh, let's go ahead, it's processing, as you can see here. So it is, as you can see here, DeepSeek 3 version, artificial intelligence created by DeepSeek. For comprehensive details, we can invite you to consult our documentation. So here it's not giving me too much detail, but uh, you can see you can interact with it. Uh, you have this other thing called DeepThink R1, which is basically premium version of it and gives you a lot. You can activate that as well. And then you can also search for the internet as well. So it's like a built-in search engine into the uh, intelligent tool here. And then you see your plus icon here, that allows you to go ahead and add things like taking a photo, um, doing an image or attaching a document. So if you wanted to analyze document like PDF, uh, something like that, PowerPoint, whatever, you'll just go ahead and add that. Or if you have a photo that you wanna take, you'll need to give access to it and then it can go ahead and analyze the photo image, which will allow you to access uh, like a image of something, you can add that. So you can go ahead and upload this and say, what? Okay, so here it looks like um, it could extract. Sometimes I, it's still new, so I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but uh, sometimes it does, again, because it's so new, sometimes some things are on is applicable here, but you get the idea of how to go ahead and interact with it. So you'll be able to see all these settings here. You can see right here. You can also tap on our icon up here to get to the settings. So you can see here how things are connected, uh, terms of privacy, languages, color scheme, and then contacting them. And if you want to delete your account, it's all here or delete your chat. Those are the options available with this. And that's how I use it. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks that we'll do for this app and many more. We'll see you guys next time.